what is up you guys it's katya books welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my anabolic kitchen today we are making protein nutella yes i'm so excited to show this recipe to you guys because i've done protein peanut butter i don't have that recipe on here but i have that on my instagram so go check that out if you'd like but i want to show you my delicious protein nutella oh it is so good and it's so easy to make it only takes like 20 minutes or so out of your day so here's the ingredient that we're gonna start with so of course nutella is based with hazelnuts i got raw hazelnuts i like to do raw hazelnuts because then we can control the roasting process making sure that they're just perfectly roasted not too overly burnt or undercooked so they have a nice aroma but of course you can also buy them roasted i've never found them roasted but yeah super easy to find and i'm going to show you the roasting process we're going to need some semi-sweet chocolate chips i'm using the ones from enjoy life these are my favorites so yeah they're really good it just adds a little extra richness to your nutella but of course for protein powder we are using the sun warrior chocolate protein powder because this is just my favorite chocolate protein powder ever so yeah super excited so yeah go ahead and go buy this if you want to otherwise any chocolate protein powder should work but i find that this chocolate protein powder just has always tasted the best when it comes to recipes for me so yeah link in the description box with a coupon code for you guys so go ahead and use that but anyways we're gonna start with roasting the hazelnuts so i did measure this out exactly so you are going to use your handy dandy scale if you want to be just as exact as i am so let's get started all right guys so we're going to get into the process of this so while i'm weighing this out i already just turned on the oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit i don't know what that is in celsius sorry to anyone who uses celsius but anyway so we're going to weigh out the 300 grams of hazelnuts right now. Also have next to you a towel and a sheet pan that you're gonna be putting the hazelnuts on after we're done trying to remove a lot of the skin. We're gonna do it both before and after roasting because it's a lot easier after the roasting, but I find it, it takes less time after the roasting if we just do a little pre-rubbing beforehand. So rub your nuts. All right, so we got the nuts right here. And what we're gonna do is put them out on your towel because we're gonna try to remove a lot of the skin. So here, let me flip this. So don't freak out if you can't remove enough of the skin the first round because once we toast them in the oven it's going to help like release them because the oils are going to release and it just kind of helps the separation between the skin and the nut. So I'm going to just do this for a little longer until the oven is ready to go and then we'll pop them in for about 10 to 12 minutes. When you pop them in do keep an eye on them. You don't want them to get dark because that flavor of like the burntness will come through in your Nutella. All right, so we removed as much skin the first round as best as I could and now into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Just make sure you keep an eye on your nuts so they don't burn. Oh, hey guys, so it's actually the next day because I decided to complete the protein Nutella today because like last night it got late and my parents were just like watching TV in and out of the kitchen making kind of a ruckus. So, and I, and I prefer to just talk in the videos instead of doing some voiceovers. So yeah, we have the roasted and like de-skinned walnuts, not walnuts hazelnuts um so yeah i just did it to the best of my ability of course 
yeah, just do it to the best of your ability. But now that they've been nice and roasted, they should be that nice tinted color. So now that these are ready to go, I'm gonna just measure out 90 grams of the chocolate protein powder and 90 grams of the semi-sweet chocolate. So we are gonna first work on blending these guys up in the food processor. And then when that's ready, I'll toss in the chocolate protein powder, melt down the semi-sweet chocolates, and then like pour that in. So let's get started. All right, so the Nutella is all done and it may look really liquidy and that's just because it's quite warm from the blending of the nuts with the warm chocolate, but when it cools down, it will get a lot thicker. And with us using semi-sweet chocolate that we melted, I don't recommend keeping it in the fridge because then it'll get really, really hard. So it's shelf stable, it's amazing. I mean, I haven't kept it for like so long to see if it expires, but I go through it so quick that that's why I wanted to make it with you guys. So I'm just now gonna pour it into this mason jar. It should hopefully fit. If not, we'll grab another one. All right, guys. So here she is in all her glory. It smells so good. I mean, it's still a little liquidy because it's still pretty warm, but like, oh, that's like perfection. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I love that it's still like a tiny bit gritty from the nuts not being perfectly pulverized. But with the addition of the melted chocolate, it just really adds to the chocolatiness of Nutella. Um, whereas if you just did the protein powder, you would get the chocolate, of course, but it might not be quite as Nutella-y. So here, let me read you the macros on this thing. All right, so for a 32 gram serving, which is average for usually nut butters, you've got six carbs, 16 fat, and seven protein. So it's not like a crazy amount of protein, but if you want to add more, you can just add more of the protein powder and decrease the amount of chocolate chips that you put in, and that's gonna up that amount. Otherwise, yes, that is so good because normal Nutella has like two grams of protein and like 11 grams of carbs are actually I have some actually I don't have some but I looked it up and it's 200 calories 22 grams of carbs 11 grams of fat and two protein so significantly lower in carbs of course a little higher in fat because we are using real and many more hazelnuts in this recipe and only two grams of protein where ours has seven which is pretty much the equivalent to like peanut butter so pretty darn good macro so go give this a try 
go get yourself some sun warrior protein and make this three ingredients super easy i mean if you want you can add like a little bit of sea salt to it but alone this is just how i've always been making it and it's just so delicious so if you enjoy this video give a nice big thumbs up let me know what else you want me to make in the anabolic kitchen of my own and yes otherwise subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video Bye.